Welcome in Slim Busters. We have a fantastic Thursday night game on hand this week as we have the 6-1 Green Bay Packers going against the 7-0 Arizona Cardinals. This game is going to be taking place in Glendale where the Cardinals are six and a half point favorites. Why is that line so high between two teams with one loss between the both of them, you ask? Well, it starts with this little thing called COVID-19 and protocol surrounding that because Devontae Adams and Alan Lazard both are currently in question for this game, in high question. In fact, I would say downright doubtful to make an appearance this one, meaning that Aaron Rodgers is going to be having to throw to grocery baggers here pretty soon just to get by Greg Ward Jr., where you at? Uh <laughs> This is going to be a very tough game for the Packers, just given with the outside things that they're going to have to deal with going into this game. I think the Cardinals do a great job generating a pass rush, and that has been something that has been the bane of Aaron Rodgers' existence the last couple of years when you look at teams that play the Cardinals style of football going against a mid-level wide receiving group. It's going to put a lot of pressure on guys like Randall Cobb, Robert Tanyan to step up, and I don't know if the Packers have it in them. I would normally pick the Packers in this spot, but how can I, given what kind of stuff they're going to be dealing with on the road? This is just not an environment. Out the gate, I'm going to tell you, I am going with the Cardinals to win and go to 8-0. This is a moment where they need an equanimous Valdez Scantling St. Brown Jr. to play for them at wide receiver this week. They they really need one of those to step up again for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, somewhere in the back of my mind, I'm prepared for the 200-yard Randall Cobb game somewhere in there. It's just that Devontae Adams is going to go out and we're just going to find out that Aaron Rodgers can turn any of these dudes into like 200-yard receivers like he did with Robert Tanyan last year, but then... Robert Tanyan hasn't really been that good this year, especially if you took him early in fantasy. So who knows? Maybe the Packers can generate enough points, but you mentioned it before. Cardinals defense is really strong. And Arizona has been one of the better rushing defenses in the NFL this year. And that is a huge benefit for them because the Packers offense has been predicated heavily on the run this season, more so than usual, which I think is teams now game planning for Aaron Rodgers. I think that's the explanation for how you lose maybe the best left tackle in the NFL and David Bakhtiari, who still hasn't played a game this season, and maybe the best center in the NFL, Corey Lindsley, who signed with the Chargers this offseason. And somehow you get better in the running game year over year. Aaron Jones has been fantastic. AJ Dillon is proving why I thought he was the most talented running back coming out of the 2020 draft class over Clyde Edwards E. Lair. The Packers kind of just have him as an extra toy at this point. So Green Bay, they've been excellent. I think the Packers will be able to slow that down at least more than other teams are. Like maybe they'll only rush for 120 yards instead of 180 yards. I will roll with the red rain all the way through this week. And it's not just because I produce an Arizona Cardinals podcast for SB Nation with our buddy Walter Mitchell, but also because the Arizona Cardinals have been legitimately great this year. I don't understand how they've done it. Maybe part of it is just lucky breaks on the schedule. Maybe it's a couple weird wins here and there. Good breaks here, good breaks there for the Cardinals. But Arizona is going to stay undefeated and Larry Zonka and all of the old Miami Dolphins will have to wait to pop their champagne for this year, which is something that the the 72 Dolphins do every year is whenever the last team loses, Larry Zonka is posting video of him popping champagne in his house. They will wait another week. They will do it at some point, but they will not do it this week because the Arizona Cardinals will defeat the Devontae adams list and Alan lazard list Green Bay Packers. We know Lazard is out. Devontae Adams is still technically not ruled out at the time of recording. Also, J.J. Watt is out this week for the uh, Cardinals, which is going to be dipping into that struggle in the run game. But they've got, uh, obviously, Zayvon Collins, Isaiah Simmons, Chandler Jones. They've been fantastic up front this year. I forgot the name of their defensive tackle, which is bad on my part because I've been doing this podcast every week. Uh, Marcus Golden is a linebacker for them who has been one of the most underrated players. He has one of the highest pro football focus grades this season of any outside linebacker. It's been excellent work this year for Marcus Golden. Um, and he's like the third edge rusher because now they kind of move JJ Watt towards the inside a bit. But Arizona should still be okay even without JJ Watt this week. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention too that I think could be very beneficial also for the Cardinals, Jair Alexander is still on the IR for the Green Bay Packers. You're telling me that you have one of the best 
cornerbacks in the league that's not currently out there to face one of the best wide receiving units in football. I think the Cardinals just have everything lining up perfectly for them this week. Like you mentioned, do I think they're going to go perfect? Absolutely not. Do I think that they're going to be go 8-0? and oh? Absolutely this week. I, I think just too many things have lined up perfectly for them in this game against a team that they're competing with for home field advantage. Hey, if this is a huge one, because if you could keep the NFC from going through Green Bay this year, if you're a warm weather team playing in a dome like Arizona, the last thing you want to do is play in January in Lambeau. This is a huge game for the Cardinals, and I think they're going to win it. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments section. If you're a first time viewer, no, we don't come dress like this normally to every podcast, but happy Halloween. Leave a like on this video, of course. Check out our partner, cavemancoffeeco.com. Yes, don't be a chump. You spoke with some at cavemancoffeeco.com. Rub, Juju Talk Sports, Kyle Ledbetter. We will see you next time.